Now, we know Google for the products that you use every day, like Search and Map, but their latest technology is all about improving health outcomes. Our next speaker is Dr. Alan Carthy Kayser-Lingham from Google Health. But first, let's see some excellent work that's been going on in this field, supporting radiologists performing breast cancer screenings. Breast cancer is the commonest form of cancer that affects women and will affect one in eight women in their lifetime. There's very good evidence that screen-detected breast cancer, that is, breast cancer detected before there is a lump that you can feel, has a much better outlook. Women with screen-detected cancer are mostly able to be completely cured and will go on to be long-term survivors. So we really need to improve the way we can diagnose and treat women with breast cancer, and screening is the answer. Breast screening has played a really important part in improving cancer outcomes across the world. Whilst this is the case, we face a number of challenges in providing the screening in an accurate and timely way. One of the most important of those is the availability of specialist staff to look at the mammograms. Breast screening is not offered across many countries, and we're very excited to be involved with this technology to allow access to breast imaging in a screening and symptomatic setting across the world. At Google Health, we've been developing a set of artificial intelligence tools to help doctors, nurses, and other clinicians provide better healthcare for their patients. At the moment, we're focused on developing a set of these tools to support breast screening. The aim of this work is to improve the consistency of the breast screening program here in the NHS. We've already published research that shows that our technology is as accurate as radiologists in detecting breast cancer. And so our next step is to see how it works in real-world clinical settings. And so we're delighted to be partnering with Imperial College London, Imperial College Healthcare NHS Trust, St George's University Hospitals NHS Foundation Trust, and the Royal Surrey NHS Foundation Trust to undertake this work to ensure that we are building safe, accurate and equitable tools. This research is an important step in the long journey to increase access to screening programs available to everyone and advance our goal of saving lives through earlier detection of breast cancer. Alan, thank you so much for joining us. I have to ask you, what is an NHS doctor doing at Google? Uh, well, it's, it's really the dream job. You know, I've, I've been passionate for my whole career as a doctor about the power of medical research to uh, innovate and help us find new ways to make life better for our patients that we look after. Um, but at Google, you can really take this kind of work to the next level, um, work with the world's best research scientists, engineers, incredible product managers, not only to do sort of really cutting edge artificial intelligence research, but then build that onwards into products and services, uh, you know, going from code all the way into clinic. Um, I still remember five years ago when I first visited DeepMind's offices uh, here in London, um, this world famous AI lab there were these posters on the wall um, front covers of Nature magazine, which uh, is, you know, for us scientists, uh, a, a real sort of holy grail place to publish your research. Uh, and the research was about using artificial intelligence to solve really difficult problems in video games or chess or these other things. And I remember thinking, you know, how incredible it would be if we could take that kind of technology and bring it to bear on healthcare problems, people with cancer, people with uh, avoidable blindness and these other things. And so it's such a privilege to be here, um, you know, applying that kind of powerful technology to some of society's most pressing problems. And then taking that on, you know, not only have we achieved that dream of publishing our research, but now taking these next steps of bringing that forwards into the clinical setting um, where it can really help people. It really is so exciting to be able to use the power of Google to advance healthcare. Now, we know how important it is to get specialised care for a cancer diagnosis, and this is one breast cancer survivor's story. Looking back now as a patient, when I was diagnosed 10 years ago, I wish what we are doing now with the clinicians and health professionals and introducing AI in mammography was there, because mine was caught late. It was a late stage and I had to go through a mastectomy. And a mastectomy means I'm going to lose my breast. Why I joined the AI in mammography group to represent the patient's voice. They've got the machine, but what does the machine do? How does it differ from what a person would do? 
And that's why I got involved with this group to ask this question. Okay, the outcome, is it going to be a better outcome for me in the long run? You know, if you pick it up early, the cancer won't have time to spread. And then we're there to ask, would this be better? How can it compare to what I did before? If a radiologist did it and two people need to check, but if it's just one person now, you've got that time to give me that care and explain things to me much better. And I think this is what this project is all about, just making things much better for patients. Della's important personal testimony there. So, Alan, I've got another question for you. Is Google trying to replace doctors with tech? Uh, definitely not. Um, you know, what this is about really is building intelligent assistance for doctors and patients. Um, one of the things here is that's so precious is the doctor-patient relationship. And we really hope that AI can build incredibly impactful tools that give doctors and patients back this gift of time so that, you know, more time, uh, more energy can be spent on the complex decision making that lies at the heart of this doctor-patient relationship. Mm. And people's health information is obviously very private and often very sensitive. So what about privacy? Yes, yeah, this is an incredibly important point. Um, for all of us who work in healthcare, privacy and confidentiality, respecting, respecting these principles is, is absolutely paramount. Um, and in the work we're doing, you know, that you just heard from Della about in, in breast cancer care, um, that's very much at the heart of all these projects. So our next steps uh, still involve working with de-identified data, which of course provides some safeguards. Um, but beyond that, patients also in these NHS UK National Health Service hospitals have the chance to opt out of the research too. Um, so privacy and the security of people's information is very much at the heart of everything we're doing. Will this AI diagnosis technology be able to diagnose other cancers as well as breast cancer? Yes, that's a, a really important point. Um, you know, we've seen incredible progress uh, in the application of these AI technologies to a whole raft of um, clinical needs. Um, even beyond breast cancer, we have projects looking at this in radiotherapy planning, um, in digital pathology analysis for a whole range of different types of cancer, uh, as well as actually other diseases too. So are there any other health projects that are really exciting you right now? Yeah, I mean, one of the interesting things is that Google um, is already in health and, and healthcare and has been for some time. Um, one thing that not many people know is that over one in 20 of all of the searches that people perform on Google's search engine that billions of people look to every day for information, um, over 5% of those are actually people looking for health information. So one of the most impactful things we're also doing, even beyond the exciting AI research, is ensuring that those people who come to the search engine, to YouTube and other places, can see uh, accurate information from trusted and authoritative sources of, of, uh, of knowledge where you know, they can be much more empowered in taking their best next steps through their care. Thank you so much, Dr. Allen.